Minister of State for Trade and Industry Teo Se Lak says the government's strong stand against the illegal strike will reassure companies and investors of the country's stable labour relations. All the same, political watchers question if the labour movement is doing enough to reach out to foreign workers to join the unions. The SMRT bus driver strike this week should not and must not happen, and it's a matter to be taken seriously. And Mr. Teo stressed that Singapore's tripartism between the government, employer and unions has a strong bearing amongst investors. When you have lack of confidence, you have less companies investing in Singapore, that means less jobs as well. So we have to take these things very seriously. Then the whole ecosystem can function well. Observers add that the incident has also raised questions as to how Singapore manages its industrial relations in the light of the changing demographics of the workforce. It raises very, very valid questions about you know, whether SMRT could have done better you know, in terms of handling uh, you know, their uh, foreign-born drivers. It raises the question of whether um, you know, the National uh, Transport Workers Union uh, you know, made the effort to try to reach out to, to these workers, uh, never mind if they are, they are, they're not unionized, um, but because you know, th there is an interest in, in workers that work in the, in, the, in the transport sector. There's also a need for SMRT to do more to address the concerns of the workers and closely examine its own processes. In order to prevent it, we need to have a foolproof a very strong and stringent management control put in place and make sure that the relations will be solid and stable in the future. As for hiring only locals for essential services like public transport, Mr. Teo said this is not always possible for service businesses. They would always like to offer to Singaporeans first. And uh, uh, most of the time when they try to do that and they try to also bring the sal salary up, I think some of the job environment as well as the job nature itself uh, may not be the most favoured by Singaporeans. So they find it rather hard, rather difficult. You almost need to bring in some of the foreign workers at that rank and file level uh, to actually uh, fill up the gaps that uh, we could not fill with Singaporeans or Singaporeans may not favour it. I think this is almost inevitable. Mr. Chiu says it's about keeping a balance between making sure there are job opportunities for Singaporeans and that jobs left unfilled do not impact companies' ability to function. This is something that both the trade and industry and manpower ministries are constantly looking at.